Named after Hitler's favorite composer, paramilitary group Wagner was founded and is led by Vladimir Putin's close ally, Yevgeny Prigozhin. The Kremlin long denied the group's very existence, but today they're openly playing an important role in the Ukraine war, far from the group's usual hunting ground of Africa. From Sudan to Libya, Chad to Guinea, even Madagascar, the mercenaries have allegedly operated in over a dozen African countries, according to the Center for Strategic and International Studies. Wagner's modus operandi is now well known. In exchange for its services, it plunders the local resources, like in the Central African Republic and Mali, where it's taken over gold mines. The result is an unquantifiable financial windfall, which helps finance the group's operations in Ukraine and pay its fighters, who are accused of rape and torture in a number of African countries. The group's also present in Venezuela and Syria, and as of late, it's grown in importance in Ukraine, as has its leader, Yevgeny Prigozhin, as well as his frustration with Russia's military command, which he accuses of not being up to scratch. Prigozhin says his men have endured heavy losses and inadequate ammunition supplies, particularly in the battle for Bakhmut, the war's longest and bloodiest. Its number of fighters is unknown. Tens of thousands of convicts were recruited to its ranks from Russian prisons. But the group's chief says about as many have died on the battlefield, swelling the cemeteries dedicated to them. Last November, the mercenary group came out of the shadows, opening an imposing headquarters in the center of St. Petersburg, the city where Prigozhin and Putin met. The building's also home to another of Wagner's activities, its propaganda services to the Kremlin, a troll farm that employs thousands of digital soldiers, Yevgeny Prigozhin's second army.